Ah, hey guys. I've been given a new tool from Lumberjack Tools, which means I now finally have something manly I can use to hang my washing out with. It's hell on the clothes, but loads more fun. It also does loads of other cool things too, so let's check it out. Full disclosure, after seeing my review of my Lumberjack shop vac, the team at Lumberjack asked me if there was another tool I wanted to try. I already had this one on my list for my birthday, so it was an easy decision, and they sent it out to me to try for free. No strings attached, so I'm gonna give you my totally unbiased review of the tool, including all the good, and the bad points. It comes in a proper black plastic carry case, you get the instructions, a pack of nails and staples, a belt clip, a charger, a two amp hour battery, and the nail gun itself. When I was originally researching the various options for nailers, I was looking at either buying a compressor with an air gun or a nailer like this one. The downside of a compressor is that you're tethered by the air hose, and then there's the size and storage of the compressor unit to consider, not to mention the fact that the compressors need to fire up every so often, which can be very noisy unless you spend a lot of money on a quieter one. For my personal requirements, I felt a compressor wasn't necessary, and I wanted something more portable. When I did my research into battery operated models, I came across this one from Lumberjack and the Ryobi Airstrike, which also looks excellent. However, at £100 less than the Ryobi, I decided that the Lumberjack was the one for me, as it does pretty much the same thing as the Ryobi, and I couldn't justify the extra cost. I also looked into the DeWalt options, as I've got a few DeWalt tools and thought it would be useful, as I already have the battery system, so I could just buy the bare unit. However, at over double the price of the Lumberjack gun, just for the bare unit DeWalt tool, I couldn't justify spending that kind of money. After all, I'm just a hobbyist woodworker working out of my garage and there's so many additional tools that I could buy with the money I'd be spending on a DeWalt tool. I've had this cheap Titan electric nailer that I picked up a few years ago and I've never been happy with it as it doesn't seat the nails properly meaning I always have to go around with a nail set to hammer them in which is a real pain in the backside. Fortunately, the Lumberjack doesn't have this problem, and the fact that the Lumberjack doesn't have the cord is a game changer, as I never have to worry about making sure that my project is close enough to the plug socket. The first thing I noticed when I picked the tool up was the weight. I guess it's inevitable for a tool that creates such a powerful impact with minimal recoil, but I do think it's worth considering based on the type of work you might be using it for. For general woodworking, to hold things in place when assembling projects and that kind of thing would be fine, but you won't want to be using this for extended periods of time as the weight in the hand can be significant. Big guns need big guns. So it comes with this belt hook which can be added to either side depending on which hand you use. But as I mentioned, it is a heavy tool, so you need pretty strong trousers to hold it, otherwise you might lose them. The tool comes either as a bare unit if you're already on the Lumberjack 20 volt battery platform, but if you aren't like me, then you can get it as a set with a two amp hour battery and a charger. What I really like about this is that it's got this feature on the back that gives an indication as to how much charge is left. This is the exact same feature I've got on my DeWalt tools that are more expensive than the Lumberjack ones. To load the nails, it's just a case of squeezing this trigger and the back pops open for you to load your nails or your staples straight into the magazine. Kind of makes me feel like a badass movie star. Speaking of indicator lights, it's also got this useful one on the side which shows if it's jammed, overheats or is out of nails. And if the battery indicator on the back isn't enough, this light also shows if the battery's getting low as well. The tool also features two different fire modes single fire and contact fire where you just hold the button and bump it along the workpiece. I did notice that when the battery started running low it would stop doing the contact firing mode so that obviously needs a little bit more power than the single fire mode. Just worth bearing in mind. It takes a variety of nails with up to 50 millimeters or 2 inch 18 gauge brad nails or 6 millimeter wide 40 millimeter or 1.5 inch crown staples. I don't know if this is part of the design or not but it actually stands up on its own without needing to lay it down which can be pretty handy as it means I can quickly grab it when I'm working on something um, rather than having to pick it up from the side when it's quite heavy. It's also really handy when it comes to storing it away. So I've had this nail gun for a while now and I've used it on a few projects to get used to how it all works. Generally, it's been really easy and intuitive to get used to. There's no need for a complicated set of instructions as everything is self-explanatory. It's got this adjustment wheel on the side which sets the depth based on the type of wood or how far you want the nails to fire in. 
Unfortunately, because there's no markings on it, it's hard to know what setting it's on. I tend to just leave it on a setting that I was happy with and I haven't needed to change it since. I really like this little light on the front that, and the fact that it turns on when you pick it up because of this little pressure sensitive button, it means that you can see where you're firing your nails, which is hugely valuable when you might be working in poor light conditions. When you shoot the nails in, the noise is very quiet when you're considering the power that it creates. This gun is definitely quieter than the loud bang noise my Titan nail makes. And due to the way that the system is set up, the impact on the wrist and the recoil is drastically reduced. So much so, I can literally just push it with one finger and it's holding fine. The safety nose on the front means that it needs to be depressed before it will fire a nail in, which is a great safety feature. But because it's long, it means that I can shoot nails in at more awkward angles, which my Titan nailer just wasn't geared up for. So, would I buy this tool with my own money? Absolutely. It was already one I was looking to buy anyway, and it hasn't disappointed. It helps you to get through your glue ups and that kind of thing much easier. But if you want to find out which glue is best, you should click right here. I'll see you next time.